All right, it is time to go to Gateway with C open. Um, I was about ready to do some practice laps with an OSR set, then looked at my phone and seeing that I had a nice little present from uh, Daniel in the email. Did not think I was going to get a setup for trucks this week, and he got it to me fairly early as well. So uh, we're going running in this. Uh, looks like they actually just ran a race two hours ago, so just missed them. But, uh, yeah, a little bit behind right now on getting things recorded. Just had a, a bit longer day today. But we got two splits, it looks like. Have not done a lap. And, uh, let's go see if I can even drive this thing. And my pedals aren't working. All right. Off to a great start. Every once in a while now, they do this crap. There we go. So we're all set up there, volume's a little loud. Definitely do not want to be starting at the rear for this one. Um, this place is always difficult to pass. And with it only being two splits, because people are afraid to race this. Uh, we have some interesting characters at the back. I don't know if I'm going to shift. Again, I have, I have no idea what I need to do. Luckily, we just raced Arca here, so I should have a bit of a feeling for it, just because they run similar engines. What? Let's go qualify and hope it's not terrible. off the corner, but I can tell it's going to want to go away on us. You know, not putting the tape on is not going to be helpful to us, but we should still be able to out qualify most people, unless I'm really bad. Just about ready to lose traction there. Alright, let's go through this in fourth. Let's see if we can even get off the corner. Yeah, you can just see how much slower it is. Tenth and a half slower down. Straight away. 
but it will save the rears. So, if we can find ourselves a nice gap, then uh, we'll probably not shift through one and two. It looks like we're going to be starting last of the people that uh, qualified. So it looks like we got one viewer in here, Carl, who is on pole. And we are starting seventh at the moment. Eighth. And that is falling more and more. Chat off. So we got a real whiny one in here. Don't want to hear that. But uh, yeah, we are pretty damn slow right now, but uh, I think we'll be okay in the race. We just got to be patient with it. Mid-pack start. I assume that the 5 and 6 are not going to do a lap. They are both marked as not going to do a lap. So we are waiting on five people. Carl just lost out on the uh, lap there. Overall, though, I'm uh, fine with that. Tenth place after three laps of practice. Good job on the set, Daniel. I feel like we're going to be able to do decent in the race because his sets are usually really good on the long run, too. There might be, like, we might have to early on shift just to stay ahead of a few people, just find our space, then sit in it and uh, keep the rears on it. But we've got 80 laps and most likely can have some cautions. So We'll uh, also have to be smart about when we take our tires. I wish they'd uh, update the walls, because that front stretch looks absolutely terrible, because they got it when this place was on the downfall, like... It looked like this place might be going away. And now all of a sudden go, it's like Line up on the outside. Close. It's a big Keep new event closed. for Cup. But you'll see by the start finish line it's like everything is worn off and scraped off. Logo wise. <laughs> That should be about 45 minute race it's showing. So it'll probably be 50, 55 minutes with yellows. And make sure everything's set up. Just a reminder next week. There are doing this. It's fixed setups now. During this race. Have a good race. Monday and Tuesday. Um, I will get those sets out when I can, hopefully, tomorrow. They're not going to be great sets, but they're just going to be fixed, just so we don't have one person on a really good setup walking away from the field. 
Although I'm not sure how easy that would be at Stafford. But you can be qualifying a couple of quick 30 lap races for people to race their way in if there's less or more than the amount of people that I want in the main. And then 250 laps. Key rate or key thing in that race is going to be just not putting yourself a lap down during the pit stops if you're at the back of the field. So you're either going to have to wait till the people in front of you pit, go around and then pit, or take two tires and come back in and take another two tires. So it'll be interesting. Hopefully it's a good race. But, let's focus on getting a decent start here, and the pipe the Bad shift, but you get a really good start, still with being able to see the leader. Check up, give some room to the inside, because people do slide up pretty bad. Full in line. Picked up two spots there. You're definitely going to be able to tell the people that are shifting just by their speed off the corner. We just can't worry about it. Don't want to miss the corner up here. Up on the way high side. Seems like everyone is just staying in fourth. Ryko car dumps someone. The yellow flag is out. They want you to Every race. Fire. Man, it's Close. pathetic. Catch up, 19 car. Alright, so it looks like when you go 50 laps on fuel, and probably, probably close to 60 laps, but I don't know, it seems like it's going to be clean, but we could just get cautions every 5 laps. on how many setup shop wrecks we actually end up getting this race. We'll save some fuel here. And, uh, I mean, we've gained a ton of spots so far. Up to 7th. The 19 seems like he's actually fairly strong. He is a 2,100. But not shifting is working out, and it could help us even more on the long run. So we're just going to keep doing that. If someone's able to pass us, that's fine. We're not going to worry about it. Long run-wise, it's going to pay back. And if it gets too tight, then we'll start shifting. But I still think it's going to be hard to get the power down off the corner. If I was just running laps by myself, then I could ease up on the throttle, but apparently the only car that I have throttle control 
on iRacing in is Silver Crown and Sprint Cars, so just have to uh, do what I can here. One left to green. Line up on the inside. One minute, 22.326. Finally got the cup car painted up halfway decent. In the last few weeks I've just been putting together some quick little crappy paint scheme, so I'm hoping that turns my luck around. Since I've quit NIS at the end of every race for like the last three races. Did that give us so much damage? <sighs> Looked like it was massive prediction code, but all right, well, let's come in and fix the damage. Just can't be anywhere near these idiots. Won't take tires. Get fuel. Fix the damage. Hope it's not down on power. All right, looks like we're good. Should have enough time to get everything fixed, so just what you got to deal with. Pit box in ten, five, three, two, one. Right here. Only 10, 12 seconds. It looked like a hell of a lot more damage, so hopefully it's nothing too terrible. Okay, go! But we lose all track position. Line up single file. Catch up, 21 car. I don't think I came up. I thought we were given enough room on the outside, but with these guys, if you're on the track, that's not enough room for them. You could be in the grass and they'd somehow find a way to run into you. So that should put us about 16th, 17th, I'm gonna assume. One to go, next time by. Line up on the inside. Catch up, 20, car. One minute, 28.699. 19th. 
So, we got a long ways to recover. But I couldn't risk that damage being a factor. We should be able to get back up to where we need to be, even without taking tires. I didn't want to get in a situation where I took tires too early, because when, uh, right now we got tires to pit. Uh, I guess we got, no, we got tires to pit every 20 laps, so didn't want to get low on them at the end. Hopefully we just get a long run here and make some stuff up. Pace car is off. Third gear start back here. Green, green, green. One minute is 4.788. Just watch out. It's a lot scarier with this many trucks ahead of us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was prediction code. It's, I mean, we didn't even... It was just such a weird hit. But... Never know. Why am I just fucking running into everyone on straightaways? What the hell was that? I guess I'm just not giving enough room people are not getting by the wall, but now we're up to 8x. Might just need to start selling this setup the way I've hit everything. So we're in 17th, if we can recover to a top 10, I'll be happy. We're not down on power, but we're definitely not looking as quick as we were up front. So, if we get a longer run here, we'll be able to get past them easy. Unless they've got some amazing throttle control. I think some people are shifting at both ends. Which is why either, either they were shifting or they were hitting the rumble strips on the inside of the three and four. But they're still overdriving the corner, and then they're gonna have too much wheel and shift. Fuck, we might need to shift. We just can't get that run off the corner. We can go 57 laps from here, 64 laps in the race. We might be able to stretch that, depending on how slow the truck gets here. It might just force us into shifting just because it's so slow through the center of the corner. 
once you get on worn out tires. But yeah, we're not looking good right now. But I don't think this is going to go the full run. Cut down in the middle of the corner there for no reason. does go a full run. We'll start shifting later. So the 18 is pushing really hard into the corners. Just let him go. He might be on new tires as well. But He's looking fast. There was no point in trying to run against him because he is entering the corner very quickly. Got to be patient. I think it'll come back to us. We can start shifting later in the run and have some better drive off the corner. then we get a caution and can try to regroup but yeah I don't think we're gonna get a top 10 I don't know either I've lost all motivation or um, somehow that damage has screwed us up We passed one person. Jesus, I'm so bad. All right, well, every everything that we fixed is now damaged again. I don't know what happened. I mean, we were looking fine up front in the top seven, but uh, we've got no speed, and apparently I'm going to just put it in the wall if I shift, so this is bad. have to 
fix the damage again. Slap and try to figure out what I need to do. It's getting really tight off the corner if I go too low. Starting to see people getting loose off the corners. I don't know what that was. I'm gonna assume that was someone getting loose off the corner. Depending on how this run goes, we may just not fix the damage. I don't think it's slowing us down. And I don't want to lose all this track position if we get a caution. Even though we haven't really got track position, but... I don't want to go any further behind since it appears we have no fire off now. Too low. Maybe pushing a bat out of the corner. Alright, 16th. have the 12 car, I think, coming up behind us. It's unfortunate that I didn't take tires, but I couldn't risk it at that point if it was going to be a wreck every 8-10 laps. Gaining on me down the front stretch because I think they're shifting in three and four. Or I just had a really bad exit out of four. But we're catching the people ahead. Aim for a top ten here. picking up speed, so that's positive, but it is starting to break a little bit loose out of two, so I'm going to have to be careful about that. 
It's going to take a long ass time though to catch these guys if we even can. I don't know, two seconds. I thought we were catching them, but then they stopped getting bigger. That slowed them down quite a bit there. But big gap behind us, 1.3 ahead. Getting on the gas way too hard ahead of us. Just losing traction and then drive down the straight. And overdriving three going too high. People tend to go too high on this. I've never found the higher line to work, but who knows. We all know that I'm a bottom feeder, and that is a really good bottom feeder corner. shift in there. It's like someone has blown an engine. That was someone in eighth. Either caught a wrong gear or too much tape or something. Alright. Let's see if we can get around the school bus. Dropping kids off out of four there. Nearly a dead stop. Alright, so. We are in 13th. Making progress. Had to be patient at the start, but it's paying off now. We've got some traction off the corner as well. Everyone else is taking a chicane off of four. Twenty-two just abusing his tires, spinning up the rears off the corner, overdriving into one. Got some people pitting here at halfway. We won't go too long if everyone ahead pits. We go 30 laps now, so fuel usage has went up now that we've started shifting. and about one lap of fuel every 30 laps more because we're shifting. So we were never going to make it anyways. Trying to wreck ahead. Still quite a few people have not hit ahead of us.
quicker way is definitely going to be pit it halfway. Track position wise though, caution comes out, you're going to be stuck at the back. Luckily, all the front runners are coming out ahead of us, so we don't have to deal with them after they pit. We could gain a ton of time if we were to pit, but we'd also lose a ton of track position again. And I feel like we're fairly quick right now. I mean, we're way off our fast lap pace, so people on fresh tires are just going to blast away. Maybe we pit when we close up on this group in front of us so we don't have to try to pass them. We've got fresh tires coming. Pit here. Not what I want to do, but fresh tires coming up behind us. Those guys extremely slow. They're probably going to wreck, but getting on that road really slow here. Pit box team 10. Go a lap down. Three, Hopefully, everyone can two, make it without wrecking. One. Right here. I just felt that situation we were in was not going to be good. Shit, hopefully, we can get out before we go two laps down. Should be. Move it, move it. Yeah, we're fine. Right where we were, be able to gain some positions. Outside. It's got to stay green though, otherwise we're in trouble. Clear stay ahead outside. of the yellow school bus. We just got to be patient. Oh wait, the old school bus is on old tires. I don't know. I don't know why I thought he had pit already. Be patient on exit. Pass him in the corners. Thankfully, he didn't try to chop our nose. We didn't need to take a full tank, but I wanted to uh, make sure we didn't mess up the balance. guy has never pit before. Hopefully he didn't spin it up the track. Whew, that was scary. Alright, looks like most people are coming in now. We're still way behind on track position. We're going to not shift for a bit. Right now, we're gaining on everyone that hasn't pit. Then we should have some tires left when they come out on slightly fresher. Thirty-four point eight seven one. 
5.5 behind us and it's yet to hit or did hit are we nearly a lap down just on pace no he hasn't hit alright I'm going to slip to race lab He pit five laps before us. So we're still one lap down. But we're gaining spots right now from people who haven't pit. So yeah, still one lap down. Sixty to go, I'll start shifting. Should be able to go twenty laps with shifting without going too terrible. And we'll see where we cycle out in this. Now if the yellow comes out though, we're majorly screwed because we're going to have to take the wave around. Yeah, it's just getting too slow in the center. We're going to start shifting now and hope that I can have some sort of throttle control. forever to start being quicker than everyone, so we'll start shifting, hopefully get around a few people and pass five or so that have yet to pit. I don't know how many people haven't pit yet, that was a shit corner though. position. Now if there is a yellow, those people are going to gain a ton of track position, but if there isn't, they're screwed because they're only going to have 10 laps left on fresh tires and they're going to be nearly a lap down from where they were before the pit site gets started. I guess, no, they were only going to get to lap 60, weren't they? Yeah, so... Unless they pit on that 
last caution. We could have got to 70. So unless there's anyone staying out through that, then... Might be able to get ourselves into the top ten. But passing is going to get very difficult here. And there wasn't a whole lot of people that stayed out long, it looks like. So we really only gained on that group of three that we were kind of stuck behind. Just overdrove the hell out of three and four. That was pathetic. But we got 20 laps to try to gain on a few of these people. Actually, the 17 has yet to pit, so there might still be a few people out there. Might be a few more free spots, but it looks like five's going to be very difficult to get around. Let's take a look. We are on the lead lap. So that's a positive. Five takes it really easy on corner entry. Seventeen holds the line. I was worried he was going to get loose off the corner. That'll put us in twelfth. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have pit on lap 9 when we had the damage. I should have just looked and seen we didn't have engine damage and just went with it. This track position was so huge at that point and we just have lost so much time because of it. I will say that we recovered all right. We're not going to get to 10th, but you never know. There could be a caution, but I don't think I've got the pace to go 100% against some of these people. I'm just, I don't know. Felt like I was quick at the start, but that has went away massively, so... We just got to hope the 5 starts breaking traction on exit. Doesn't look like he's going to. not look like anyone's catching us really quick that I can tell. 17 is finally on pit road. The leader is only four seconds behind us and has pit so we're gonna get lapped. He's on much fresher tires as well. Way quicker. Point 
just one of those races. Looked like we were going to be okay, normal speed, and then it just... Everything went bad until we got rid of the setup shop guy and the yellows quit happening. It's weird how that worked out, right? Green flag ever since he quit. bad exit there, but we also really strained our tires. Alright, we got the 24 who's still out there that's yet to pit. So he pit right around with us. We're going to go lap down. We're not going to get the lucky dog if the yellow comes out, because the 5 is going to go lap down immediately with us. But maybe one or two more people out there that have yet to pit. So 24 is going to have to pit this lap or the next lap. Unless he's clutching it. And that'll maybe get him one or two more laps, but it's not going to get him to the end. Who knows, he could get a yellow right here, get the lucky dog, and get an easy top 10. Hopefully we just get to the end. And he was fitting. I gave him a chance to move to the inside there. And he didn't, so that's why I went to the inside. So, now we're in 11th. Top 10 right in front of us, but I don't think we have anything for the 5. Especially if I take that line through 1 and 2. shifting over here. See if it gets us anything. Five starting to pull away from us on old tires. Neither of us are going to be lucky dog in a couple of seconds. The nine is on very old tires. This was the first one on pit road. Lap 38 it looks like. I don't know if we'll have time to track him down though. Or, sorry, the 15. Ninth place. 3.7 at the line. Shifting through three and four. Now we know how that guy blew up. All right. We will take our 10th place or our 11th place. It 
did not like that much high revs. You can go back to shifting in one and two, but definitely not three and four. running too low there and hurt my line off the corner. Can't help it. Well, we got our butts kicked, but we get 11. Might have been a few spots higher up had we not got the early damage, but we recovered. I will take it. We qualified 10th, finished 11th. Got some long green runs. That's the best part about it. One flag, one flag. Got a green flag pit cycle at Gateway. Always good. Let this guy go. Not that he's racing anyone, but don't want to get wrecked. People tend to want to pass everyone they can, even on the last lap, so just make it easy. Interesting one. We get 11th, and let's go see if that was prediction code or if I came up. On both of those. All right, there's the ticket flag. But Bring uh, it back to the pit. yeah, we're going. Not how I thought it was gonna go. All right, so only gonna see a couple of wrecks and then a bunch of wall hits. Five. Well, he's going straight to the wall. Sixteen. There's the whole bottom and gets sent by the three. And I guess he's just got a massive bubble around him. Because that was also prediction code. And then the ten hands him a little justice for the first wreck, and they both wreck out. And then what happened here? I guess I just came up. So, that was stupid on my part. 17 is going to be in the wall. And really it's just, I think, going to be a bunch of wall hits after this, so... Don't need to watch that. Oh yeah, this is our first time shifting. Looking like an absolute idiot. But, yeah. Let's take a look at the results. So, we lose 14 I rating, lose 27 safety rating, and uh, we get 11th. Does not look like it worked out for Carl. Oh, is he the guy that blew his engine? He must have been. That's unfortunate. So, um, yeah, there we go. Trucks at Gateway. Uh, pretty clean, but uh, first few laps were unfortunate. Looks like it was just a lot of prediction code around one guy, but 
that happens, so. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.